What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to set up PHP Stan, which is a static analysis tool for PHP that helps developers identify potential bugs and improve code quality. It's one of the linting tools that we're going to use, and I'm going to show you how to properly use it and configure it. All right, so real quick, if you want to support this project and if you want to support this channel, head on over to piximweb.com and purchase a copy of DevWP. I've put in thousands of hours and years into developing a efficient and productive and streamlined workflow. And when you get a copy of DevWP, you get all the files, the folders, the documentation, which will help you jumpstart your WordPress theme development process. Check out some of my other videos to see different ways of working with WordPress and some of the different tools and how we progressed over the years. This is the PHP Stan website. This is the documentation area. This is the homepage. This is the location on GitHub for PHP Stan, PHP unit extensions and rules. And this is the PHP Stan WordPress location on GitHub as well. It's another dependency we're going to be using. And this is the extension installer. All right, so let's go to VS Code. All right, so we see we're in the WP test folder itself. I'll open terminal. I'm going to go into my themes folder and I'll use my alias, which is a shortcut. This brings me directly to my themes folder. I created a whole video on how to create aliases on Mac OS and Windows. So definitely check that out. But aliases are a great way to streamline these very long commands because you would typically have to type out change directory and then go into wp-content themes and then your themes folder. Instead, I just type out cd wp tt. I'll use la to list all the files. Again, that's another alias I use. So I'm going to change directory into devwp and we see here we have Composer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to type out CU, which is for Composer Update. It's another one of my aliases. So it's going to load Composer repositories with package information. Anything that needs to be updated, it'll update. And no security vulnerabilities are found. All right. So now I'm going to type out O, which is for open or start. It's another one of my aliases. I use tab completion and then the JSON. So that command opened up the composer.json file within VS Code because VS Code is set up to be my default editor to open up JSON files. If you didn't set up your aliases yet, you would have typed out start and then composer.json. All right, so now we see that we previously already installed a lot of our linting tools. I just wanted to have that all set up for you real quick. I demonstrated all that when we did the composer video. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely take a look at it. But you see we have PHP Stan, we have the PHP Stan WordPress, and the extension installer. And then we have in the allow plugins, PHP Stan extension installer set to true. All right, so in order to get this to work, we also want to create a PHP Stan configuration file. But you'll also notice that I have a composer script over here that's going to run this command, php stand analyze the current directory, and then the memory limit, I'm increasing it to 2048m. All right, so let's set up our configuration file. Go into terminal, and I'm going to use the touch command, php stand.neon.dist. And then I'll type out O or start. Then I'll use tab completion, and it opened up that file within VS Code. Again, because VS Code is set up to be the default application to open up this type of file. And you see that VS Code is telling me that it's not tracked. All right, so I'm going to paste in my code here, and then I'll tell you what, what it's doing. All right, so this is a very basic file, and we're going to add to this file later on as we add to our project. But right now, I'm setting the parameters. Level is set to max, the paths, everything in the current directory and below. And we're excluding these paths. We'll add to this later on. But for now, we're excluding these three paths over here. Vendor, node modules, and languages. Save the file. And then since we haven't changed any of the code inside of our previously named underscore theme, which is now named DevWP, when we run our composer command over here, we're going to see a bunch of errors. In the final project, that's going to be completely corrected. We'll have no errors when it comes to PHP stand. But we're going to see some of the errors that come out of this now. So when you want to run a command via the terminal for one of your scripts, it'll be composer. And in our case, we created this little script right here to run this command, PHP stand. So you would run that. But I also create an alias, CL stand. I'll hit enter. It'll start the process of analyzing all the files and folders. And you see it's using the configuration file, phpstand.neon.dist. It knows to look for that. Let it run its course. It's going to find errors and warnings and things of that nature. 
and then you could start investigating and correcting them. All right, so you see here, it found 52 errors. Now, a lot of these linting tools are very opinionated, but it's good to go through them to determine what needs to be resolved and to fine tune the code and bring it up to speed and up to date. Now, the fun part is gonna be when you use multiple linting tools, and then you have to make sure that you adhere to best practices by using multiple tools and cross-referencing whenever there's gonna be overlapping issues. So some of this stuff is in terms of using more modern PHP coding standards or best practices. So let's inspect some of this stuff now. So if we go over here in terminal, if you hit the Alt or Option key, you see you get the ability to click on that and to open it, hit Enter. And now it opened it inside of your editor. Close out the terminal. We see that's on line 49. So we see line 49, we have this over here. Instance of function, the widget expects array string given. So you see we have that error. We have two errors on that same line, and that's something that we could resolve. And then if you go down, you see line number 34 in the archive.php file. Click on that one, line 34. It shows you what we have to deal with over here as well. So I'm gonna do a separate video on how to lint your project with the various tools that we're gonna be using. That'll be a longer video because I'm gonna be implementing some linting with PHP Stan and with some other tools as well. This video is all about installing and configuring PHP Stan to work within your system. And this process works on both Windows and Mac OS. If you wanna start the process already of checking out some of these issues, like over here, this is about the return type. We can go down to line 22. And this one's basic. It's actually the wrong file. We want to go to the WWP theme. All right, so line 22. So this one, we would just type out colon and void because it doesn't return anything. This function doesn't return anything. So you would go step by step through all of these errors and you would fix them one by one. But again, we'll do that in another video because as you can see, there are a lot of errors here when it comes to linting with PHP Stan. Now, PHP Stan is very important, as I mentioned before. It's a static analysis tool for PHP, and we use about five different static analysis tools while linting for any errors or warnings with PHP and within our project. But I also introduce you later on to Xdebug, which is another way to step through your code and to make sure things are working as they should. And also PHP unit, which is a dynamic analysis tool. So we're gonna see a couple of different ways to analyze your code. In this video is all about the setup and how to analyze your code and make it work well with WordPress and the creation of the PHP stand.neon.dist file. All right, so now we see we have to commit that to our project to Git. So I'm gonna to go to the root of this theme, type out GS, which stands for Git status. Again, that's an alias, so if you don't have your alias set up, take a look at that video after this one and start setting up some aliases on your system. But this stands for git status. So now I'm gonna type out GA, which stands for git add. I'll type out GC, which stands for git commit with message. And I'll put my message here. And a simple message added the PHP stand config file. I'll hit enter, and now you see it's been committed. And we're working on a clean tree. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. It's very important to learn how to analyze your code to make sure you're following best practices, more modern coding styles, and finding any issues or errors or warnings within your code. PHP Stand is just one of the tools that we're gonna be using, and in the upcoming videos, I'll introduce you to a few more. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna support this project, consider purchasing DevWP. You will get all the files, the folders, and the documentation. And make sure to hit that notification icon so that way whenever I release a new video, you'll be notified. And if you have any thoughts, ideas, or opinions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding.